my number one absolute favorite investment that is helping me efficiently achieve my financial goals and dreams. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. And today I wanna to get straight to it and share with you the number one, well, my number one favorite investment inside my diversified investment portfolio that's adding a lot of efficiency in helping me achieve my financial goals and dreams. That is being part of the FIRE community and wanting a long, luxurious, but most importantly, early, retirement where I have complete and utter financial freedom and independence. Now, just a quick reminder, whilst I'm a financial planner, please know that all of my content, including this video, is general in nature and for educational purposes only. All right, let me show with you what this investment is and why it is so important to me. Now, as you guys know, one of my most important, exciting financial goals that I have been working on for a really long time now is to build a growing passive income, that is long-term growing passive income, in excess of $200,000 a year. That is, living off my investment income and never touching the capital so that I can remain financially independent indefinitely. Now, for me, I should let you know that I'm a long-term investor. I have a lot of experience with investing and I am not worried at all by market pullbacks or corrections. In fact, I get excited when I see market volatility because that presents bigger, better opportunities for me to buy the same quality assets, possibly at a great discount. So for me, I really think about the long-term gain and I'm not worried about those short-term to medium-term fluctuations, which are naturally a part of investing. Whilst I have a diversified investment portfolio that includes residential property, commercial property, and a diversified share portfolio. In fact, the number one most efficient and in effective investment inside this investment portfolio for me in building this long-term growing passive income is actually shares that is australian industrial shares now whilst that is my number one most important asset class in my investment portfolio that i love the most i should also mention that i do prefer to access these investments through a listed investment company now, I'm gonna to explain to you why I love this particular asset class so much and why I have chosen to have a bias within a mixed diversified investment portfolio that leans towards including LICs with a much stronger preference to the other assets inside my investment portfolio. All right, I should start with why do I love shows so much, particularly when everyone talks about property these days. Well, for me, there are lots and lots of reasons, but I'm just gonna to touch on the main ones that really stand out to me. The first being, it doesn't take much time or money to get into the market and become a shareholder. I would normally recommend someone start investing with between $500 to $1,000 because you have to pay for brokerage. Though it is not like with property where you have to save for say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years before you can get your foot in the door with the property market. With shares, you can buy shares within seconds and you literally only need to start with a very small amount of money. So it means that you can actually get started and keep building your investment portfolio without having to sit in your hand and save, save, save. The second thing that I love about shares is there's no stamp duty. When I look at how much money I've paid in stamp duty to buy residential property, I feel sick to my stomach because that is money that's literally just washed down the toilet. And in fact, when I think about all that money added up, that's a huge amount of money that could have actually built so much more passive income in my life. Instead of buying property, I bought shares, I would have a much bigger investment portfolio and a much bigger passive income. With shares, there's no stamp duty other than obviously the small cost of brokerage. The third reason why I love shares, in particular Australian industrial shares, is because of the tax benefits. You see, a lot of Australian shares that are fully franked come with franking credits, which means they've already had tax paid on the passive income, that is the dividends. When you compare the rental income that I receive, I have to pay tax on that after I've received it. Whereas when I look at my dividend income, the total amount of passive income, tax has already been paid. And sometimes I might get a tax refund, or sometimes I don't really need to pay that much more tax on top of that. 
So for me, it's far more tax effective. And then the fourth reason I love Shores so much is they're liquid. If I need, say, an emergency $10,000, I don't have enough emergency money set aside, I can go and sell $10,000 worth of Shores and that money will be in my account within a couple of days. Whereas I can't do that with property. I can't go and sell the front door or sell one bedroom. I have to sell the whole entire apartment or house. And then of course I have to pay marketing expenses, commissions, you know, legal fees, and then no capital gains tax because I've gone and sold the whole entire asset. So for me, Shores just works so much better for me, my risk profile and my financial goals and dreams and the deadlines to those financial goals and dreams. So I now want to move on to listed investment companies and why I have chosen to use listed investment companies to build my diversified investment portfolio. Well, the first obvious reason for me is efficiency. I have three kids, three dogs, and I do a lot of solo parenting with Tom living between Sydney and Hong Kong. So I'm time poor and I do not want to be spending my spare time sitting in front of a computer screen, researching and analyzing and crunching lots of different stocks and numbers. For me, I would much prefer to outsource that decision, those investment decisions to a professional so I don't have to waste my time and feel overwhelmed and stressed by it all. By having a listed investment company, I'm essentially paying someone to make those decisions for me. But that particular person has years, if not up to a hundred years, worth of experience in picking good quality investments. The second reason why I love listed investment companies is the diversification benefits. Even if I only have say $10,000 to invest or $1,000 to invest, and I use a listed investment company, that $1,000 or $10,000 is immediately diversified up to 80 different companies and covering a variety of different industries. And if you've been following my content for a while, you're familiar with investing. The more diversified you are up to a certain point, you are able to reduce your risk to the best of your ability. The third benefit, which I think is one that's really forgotten about a lot when it comes to Lix, and that is the simplicity of the tax reporting. If I was to go and invest in, say, 30 different companies, I would have 60 statements to give my account at the end of each financial year. However, when I use my listed investment companies, I'm only getting two statements per year. So it's consolidated and makes it so much easier to work out how much passive income I've earned through my dividends, how much I've earned through franking credits, and what the actual net figure is to work out whether I owe some more money in tax or whether I'm potentially owed a refund. And yes, whilst a listed investment company has some fees, but I think about what my accountant charges me per annum, I am definitely way ahead. And then finally, probably the biggest reason why I love listed investment companies so much is it fills up my time, not so long to worry about the investment decisions, but so I can focus on actually earning more money and making more money and hustling up and brainstorming my next business idea. That for me is just a great use of my resources, my time, my energy. You see, I make the money, which then gets invested. The more time I have, the more opportunities I have to make even more money, which means more can be invested. I don't want to try and be able to do it all. I understand the limitations of my experience, of where the markets are going, and also the fact that I've got a lot of things going on in my life. So for me, I love that it just allows me to focus on what makes me happy, what fulfills my heart, what stimulates me, what challenges me, what inspires me, and what empowers me. So those are the reasons why I love my investment portfolio so much, in particular, shares, Australian industrial shares, and of course, through listed investment companies. Now, if you're wondering, Mel, can are you talking about efficiency? How efficient really is all listed investment companies and shares? Well, let me show you this. When I look at what my share portfolio is worth and I look at what my investment portfolio is worth with just the property, and I look at the two net figures and I look at what the rental income I get from this versus the gross dividends I get from this. Even though this asset class is technically smaller from a dollar value than the property, this actually makes me much greater, more tax effective passive income than my property portfolio. And for me, I don't necessarily need to have $50 million invested, $20 million, um, $10 million. All I care about is the passive income because I'm part of the FIRE community, which is financial independence, retire early. I could be earning $100,000 a year from a $10 million share portfolio. That doesn't really help me. What helps me is having, for example, a $30 million share portfolio with $200,000 a year of passive income. That's what I'm talking about when it comes to efficiency 
and chasing and achieving those financial goals and dreams. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.